Ukraine, still hanging in a perilous place. Its response to call this day one of national unity. Ukrainians asked to show the flag in the face of fears of a Russian invasion. Oh, no! Olga Petrovina was happy to oblige. We are united, she says, and they will not dare attack to destroy beautiful Ukraine. Why? Russia's claims that it's been pulling back some of its troops have again been countered by NATO, the Secretary General accusing Moscow of trying to upend the European security order. And to do so by using force. I regret to say that this is the new normal in Europe. In Ukraine, people say they've already been living with the new normal for years now. Fighting a war against pro-Russian separatists in the East and coping with what they see as a concerted Russian effort to destabilize Ukraine. This analyst says even if Russian President Vladimir Putin does pull forces back significantly, it won't mean an end to the crisis for Ukraine. He will not leave us alone. It will take as long as he is in power. The shows of unity on the streets, including the singing of the national anthem, weren't big. But like the mood here, they were determined. If we will not uh, unify, uh, it will be very simple to conquer our country. Authorities here say Russia is already engaged in hybrid warfare against Ukraine, with cyber attacks just yesterday against the Ministry of Defense and two banks. The Kremlin has denied any responsibility. Margaret Evans, CBC News, Kyiv.